Hello friends, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Last time, we took an introductory look at the basics of operating your airbrush to paint your miniatures. Today, we're gonna get some paint on our models and learn how to get an even controlled base coat and shadow. So, let's get started. Our Judicator is primed and ready to be base coated. And I'm gonna add the base coats to this with our airbrush. We've got a few drops of thinner in the cup. We're gonna add some of the men off white base and some of our thinner in our airbrush and just mix that all up. And this will give us our base coat. To begin airbrushing, I'm gonna bring the brush close to the model. I'm gonna start that flow of air by depressing the trigger and pull it back slowly to increase the flow of paint. And as you can see, you just start covering the model, work your way around, and get everywhere you want your base color on there. And a little bit of overspray is fine. We're gonna go back and that's gonna be painted metal or whatever later. And you can go back and you can add a second layer when the first layer is dry and just giving the whole surface a nice, smooth, even coat. If you're worried about overspray on different parts of your model, you can use a masking card like this, which is just a piece of plastic card that I use to block the, the spray of paint from getting on anywhere you don't want it. Or you could use masking tape. Or for me, most of the time, I just go back and paint over it. So I'm just gonna go over in my entire model, getting all the areas I want to be mint off white and just keep going over until I get a nice smooth surface on every element. Now, I'm ready for the next step. To begin our first shade step, I'm gonna be using Crixbane Highlight. And I'm gonna add a couple drops of our thinner mix. I'm gonna mix that up in our cup. And I'm gonna apply this just like before by bringing the brush close to the miniature, depressing the trigger to start the flow of air, and slowly pulling back and start the paint flow. So I'm gonna focus on lower panels, make those nice and dark. And you can really bring in as much shade or as little shade as you want, depending on what kind of effect you wanna go with. For this guy, I think I'm gonna go a little heavy on the shadow. I like a nice shadowy figure. And just keep working your shade all around and just keep your nice smooth blends. You don't want any hard lines. And go around the entire model until you're happy with the results. This looks pretty great. Let's finish this up and get ready for another shade step. For our second shadow, we're gonna do the same step as before. We're gonna apply paint and some thinner into their cup, mix it up real good. For this, this is just going into the deepest recesses, the tight corners and the real hard undersides. So like these lower panels on this arm, just block those completely out and just work away any of the deeper areas and really accentuate the contrast between the light and the dark. And there we go. A quick and easy way to get base coats and shadows on your big models. The airbrush is a fantastic tool to speed up your painting process. Now, this guy, I'm gonna take him back to the studio and start working with my brush and really bring him to life. Those base coats and shades went on super fast. Next time, we'll use our airbrush to create some awesome weathering effects on our miniature. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links in the description below for more in this series and some additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. That's Union Water, son. That's why there's eight <laughs> bottles sitting around. <laughs> there's one working, eight of them sitting in the room. Eight of them sitting in the room, back. <laughs> one of them working. That's Union Water. <laughs>